in conclusion, we have seen several techniques that can make your Bonita BPM much secure and let you be a bit more production ready. If you want to sum up, we have seen how you can change your default password configuration, how you can define a password policy for user creation, how you should disable your HTTP API and focus on REST API authorization by activating dynamic checks. Finally, we have seen how you can turn on the anti-cross-site request forgery attack token and how you should activate your HTTPS or SSL communication. So I really hope you found this video useful and remember to think about security when you do your projects, especially in a production environment. Bad guys are out there, but don't be scared and know these things, put this countermeasure in place and we will make their life much harder. Thanks for watching.